Are you confused about pages marked as blocked due to access forbidden in Google Search Console? In this video, I will explain what it is and how to fix it. This indexing error is the same as someone trying to enter a party but getting stopped by the bouncer at the door. But instead of getting a reason why they can't get in, they are faced with a blunt sorry you can't come in without further explanation. This is what happens when Google gets the blocked due to access forbidden from a website. They can't get in, but they don't know why. In short, Googlebot has tried to crawl a URL on your website, but was denied the access. This indexing status can happen for several reasons. Some of the main ones are server restrictions because the server is configured to block certain IP addresses. Geographic restrictions may also cause 403s if Googlebot is trying to crawl your website from one of those regions blocked. Pages requiring authentication can also be the cause of the 403 errors. Because Googlebot does not have the login credentials, it can't access the URLs. Hey, if you're enjoying this video, please consider subscribing. Our goal at SEO testing is to save you time so you spend less time pulling data into Excel and more time thinking about how to get more traffic from Google. Now, back to the video. Fixing the pages causing blocked due to access forbidden is somewhat easy. If your server is blocking certain IPs or countries, try to find out from what IPs or countries the search engine is trying to crawl the URLs. Then add those IPs to the allow list and the crawler should be allowed to go through the URLs without problems. Similarly, if you are blocking crawlers with the htaccess file, look at the rules explicitly blocking the crawlers and remove them. Then update the htaccess file and the problem should go away. When it's a page needing authentication showing the 403 error code, we will recommend adding a noindex tag on that URL if you don't want the page to be indexed. This will make search engines stop trying to crawl the page and make the error go away in Google Search Console. Another solution, if you are using a hosting plan with limited resources, the server can show a 403 error to crawlers trying to access the page. This will be like the server saying the website is currently exceeding the allocated resources. The solution to this one will require some technical knowledge by checking your server logs through your hosting control panel to see if it is indeed a bandwidth limitation. If it is, it's probably time to update your hosting plan. If you are using WordPress with a security or redirection plugin, it can show these 403 error codes and prevent some crawlers from accessing the pages. Here, you will need to look into the plugin settings and find if something is blocking Google Bot. It's also possible to cause a 403 error code by blocking search engine crawlers with a functions.php file, but this is not a common or recommended action. However, if you have tried everything else without success, it may be worth looking here for possible rules blocking crawlers from accessing your site. Once you made the changes to fix the 403 error code, use Google Search Console Inspect URL tool to see if Googlebot can crawl and index your URLs. Preventing crawlers from accessing some pages on your site may be okay when you don't want those pages to be indexed, but in most cases it will be better to show crawlers other HTTP response codes or even use a noindex tag. Now, if you want to make the most out of your Google Search Console data, Use SEO testing to set up SEO tests and know what changes to your site increase traffic. We have a 14-day free trial for you to test it. Sign up using the link in the description. Thanks for watching.